Hey everyone, let's do a haul. Um, annoyingly, I have already filmed this, but the footage is corrupt, so I've got to do it again. So it kind of feels like I've just spoken to you about all of this because I have. But I've got, I've bought loads of stuff recently and some of it, well, I really think all of it's really cool, really nice stuff. So I'm going to show you it all. Let's start with makeup and beauty stuff. So the first thing I got was just actually, this is just replacing something I've already used up, which is a MAC lip pencil in the colour Strip Down. And I'm wearing it now. So I pretty much exclusively wear this lip pencil and I colour in my whole lip. And then I use the Givenchy Matte Lipstick in number 10, I think it is. Love that lipstick. The packaging is amazing, but I love the colour. And it stays matte without drying out your lips. So I bought a replacement version of that. The other thing that I got is in this package. So I wanted to try some of the new deal makeup that's out because everyone's raving about it and I wanted to try it. And one of the things I wanted to try is this, which is the lip oil. And the colours that you could get were sold out. It was really difficult to get any colours. This one is called 15 Cherry. And I will try it on, show you what it looks like. I don't normally really wear a gloss, to be honest, but as I say, everyone's raving about it, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, yes, yeah, so that's that. The other thing, which I haven't tried yet because I've only just opened it, but it's also from Dior and it's in this package and it is a Dior blush. And this color is the kind of color that I wear and it looks like this. And when you look at the monogram pattern, I almost don't want to use this. I absolutely love that monogram pattern. I think this is so cute. Um, really nice. And then the final thing I got before I move on to like clothes and stuff like that, I've got some stuff from Dior. The next thing is some a refill again of some perfume that I've used up. And it's Miss Dior. Although I wonder whether they've changed the formulation because this smells different to the one that I replaced it for. I feel like it smells different. It's still nice, but it's different. It's like this, this smells a bit more floral than the one that I have. The one that I have smells a bit more fruity, more raspberry. Um, and this one smells different. By the way, there's a vlog towards the middle part of this video. So if you, if you want to get out and about with me, um, you can join David and I on a day out that we had um, yesterday, in fact. So uh, you can come and join us for that. But the next thing is from Dior and it's from their Riviera collection. And some of you saw, I bought this weeks ago and I've been delaying wearing it because I wanted to show it to you all first. But it's this jacket from the Dior Riviera collection and it's the collection that's come out that is pink. And I'm someone who loves the colour pink. I feel like it's a cheerful colour. I actually feel like it suits me as a colour. I just personally really like it. And when I saw this, I liked it. This is a denim jacket. It's quite a thick denim material. And I can't remember how much this was, to be honest. But as soon as I saw it and tried it on, I thought that's so nice for summer, like with the short sleeves. Now, the other thing that I got, it's kind of quite interesting. I've got a new bag as well that I'm going to show you. The other thing that I got is very wild card and it's it was in this draw this like tote bag it's from a brand called Hicks and Brown and several weeks ago now Dave and I it was so random but we were off one afternoon we thought what should we do and the weather was really good so we went to this flower show called which is in Hampton Court and it's the Hampton Court flower show we went to it and I have been before to be honest and it's quite a chill vibe, although it wasn't on the day when we went because it was so busy. It was insanely busy. But when I went, there's loads of um, retailers there selling like jewellery, clothing, accessories. And I found this retailer selling these hats in all different colours. They also had straw hats as well. And I saw this and I loved it. Let me try it on without ruining my makeup. This is the problem with hats, isn't it? takes the foundation off your forehead. <laughs> so annoying. If anyone has a tip for that, please let me know. But yes, this is the hat. Could you also wear it a bit like that? Maybe you could, if you wanted to be like a bit different, possibly. Um, and this was, well, I'll link to their website below actually, because this is made out of wool. 
really good quality i love like the little feathers on the side and it's got their logo there on that metal plaque ghd this is a snake print style if i show you close up it's kind of it's velvet and it's got snake print embossed into it and this box when you open it up i've taken the product out which i'm about to show you but you open the lid on it and it's a presentation case that also comes with this product and this is one of those hair straighteners that dries your hair at the same time as straightening it and i have just finished using this on my hair and i will put in a clip here of what it's like to use i can dry my hair bone dry within 10 minutes using this which is actually quicker for me than using my hair dryer i when i first used it I was really worried I was going to burn my scalp because obviously to dry the roots of your hair you need to get really close in to your scalp but there's no burning at all because the plates, the heated plates are in slightly but also when you have it on the drying setting I don't think the plates come on. So your hair is being naturally straightened using air. If you then want to use the hair straighteners to give it like that kind of more glassy look you press this button here which is called shine shot and that activates the actual straightening plates and it does a fantastic job at really making your hair look not just straight but quite, quite glossy now if you're looking at this and you like the idea but you tend to wear your hair curly let's say what you can do is you can take a piece of your hair and if for any of you who don't know about this this is like a tip you wrap the hair round and then you pull this down really slowly and do this with the straightener on because I don't think it's going to do too much with the dryer on and then what happens is you get a really soft wave in your hair that's the way that you use hair straighteners to curl your hair like a bit of a tip there but I find that they're really good I can't vouch for what it's like to dry your hair from soaking wet and how long that would take because I never dry my hair from soaking wet anyway I always wash my hair early in the morning and then I leave it a good hour to air dry before I actually go and dry it person like properly. But the other product that comes with it is this called Sleek Talker and it's wet to sleek styling oil. You don't have to use this. So I actually haven't used this only because I forgot to use it. It's a pump dispensing bottle. Um, and what I would say it does is it protects the hair, but it also gives it a very glassy, glossy finish when you are finished um, but it's the kind of thing that you could also put some on your hands and run it through your hair once you finish styling your hair so that I would probably do after I've dried my hair anyway I don't think it needs to be wet for you to use it now for the next thing before I show you a handbag and it's in here and this is quite this is quite an amazing product you know I was sent this and I am pleasantly surprised it is this and you wait until you see what this is. I bet some of you are thinking, what's that? That's really weird. It's a little case, and when you open it, it's incredible. When you open it, it's actually to keep your makeup in, but on the inside, it has a mirror, and there are buttons down here, and like, for example, if you turn this on, the, the lights come on, you can adjust the brightness of the lighting, you can also adjust the colour tone of the lighting, so to, depending on the room that you're doing your makeup in. So for example, you can have warmer light, cooler light, and daylight, and then all of this opens up down here, and there's slots for your makeup brushes. Um, there is a tray on the inside, if I can show you. There is a tray down there, and that tray is where you would put all of your products. The quality is exceptional. It's really well put together. I love the idea of it. I particularly like the idea of this for two reasons. First of all, absolutely is travel. I always find, I don't know why it is, but so many hotel rooms, they have that mood lighting where it looks really cool and stuff, but it's not good to do makeup in. It's too dark. Um, and so this I will travel with a thousand percent. This for me is perfect. But also this would be really good if you ever fly long haul and when you wake up before you land, you want to do your makeup. But normally the cabin can be quite dark when you're doing that. And so I actually saw someone using something like this when I went to Singapore and I was envious because she had the lighting on her face yet the cabin was dark because a lot of people were still asleep. 
Um, this is the kind of perfect thing for that, for hotel rooms. But also, as we go into winter, which I don't want to think about, I don't know about you, but I find on those dark winter mornings and evenings that it can be difficult to do your makeup with that lighting, with artificial lighting, when you've just got like the lights on in your room, you can't get the tone right, you can't get everything blended right. And this, because I can adjust it and you and adjust the, the lighting and have daylight, this is the kind of thing that I think is really gonna sort me out when it comes to that. So I'll link to that below. Um, and it comes in matte black. You can also get it in this color, um, which is like matte peach kind of color. Um, the matte black is limited edition. I think the peach color you can always get, pretty sure. Um, and it's trimmed with rose gold. Now let's do a bag. So um, this is a bag that I bought using my own Farfetch coupon code that they gave me a couple of months ago now. Um, unfortunately, it's ex expired, so I can't share it with you. Um, but it is this bag, which is from Versace, and I love it. As soon as I saw it, uh, so I bookmarked this, and those coupon codes that I get every so often, they last a month. So I bookmarked it when I first got it, and I thought, oh, maybe I'll use the coupon code to get it, but, and I kept going back and looking at it. Um, this is all canvas uh, material, and then this is all leather trim. And I loved like the milkshake pink tone. It actually kind of matches the hat, you know, and it also matches that jacket, which is back here. Um, on the inside, it's really nicely lined, and you also get with it two straps. So you get one, which allows you to wear it cross body. So it's longer like this, like a strip of leather. But you also have quite a cool one, which you can remove if you don't want, if you don't like feel this. Um, there is this, which is a chunky gold chain. And you could attach that to this bag and carry the bag by that top handle or wear it on your shoulder with with this so i'll link to this bag as well but the other thing that i saw after i bought the bag this is where it got dangerous so i bought the bag it turned up i unboxed it and i was like i'm so glad i got it got it with the discount feel like i got a good deal on it because of that discount and then farfetch said to me do you want the shoes and when i say farfetch said that you know those emails they send you where they see things that they think you might like well i ended up getting the shoes to match my final selection to show you is some beauty items and this is skincare so there is a beauty brand that i there are a few skincare brands that i buy from and i buy from religiously charlotte tilbury magic cream charlotte tilbury the serum um Qualorex beauty which i use as the eye serum and I also use their other products, but I also use the Ordinary, the, um, what is it called? I forget, there's a product they've got that's really good for reducing pore size, and it actually works. It's a BHA, like, solution, like toner, and you put it on your skin and you leave it, and it, and it works really well. Forget what it's called. Um, salicylic acid, that's it. Uh, but some of the products I thought I would try. So I needed to top up on this. This is the eye serum. And I will say, I don't have any lines around my eyes and I genuinely put it down to this product. Also genetics, I'm like in my family, my fa none of my family age around the eyes, even my grandparents, like it doesn't, I don't know why, it's just not an area, that we age everywhere else, just not the eyes. Um, so there is that, but I don't have any expression lines when I've got a resting face thing. And while I was there, I wanted to try a couple of other items. These are the micellar cleansing pads, and you get like quite a big tub full. I find there's another product I use, which is a cleansing, they're also cleansing pads, and they're the abrasive ones, so they're really good at lifting off dry skin, etc. But they're quite moisturizing. And I use those and I like them, and they take ages to get through because you get so many in a pot. Um, so that was the micellar cleansing pads. Then there is the cleansing balm, which I've used before, and I will show you how this looks. This actually did come sealed, but I took the seal off in the last video, which didn't record, hopefully this does. And what this cleansing balm looks like, 
It comes with a small spatula so you can remove enough product to use. And it looks like a bar of soap. It's solid. It's solid in there. And you remove as much as you need. And then you put it in the palm of your hand, mix it with a small bit of water, and then you apply. And it removes your makeup really beautifully whilst hydrating at the same time. And it smells gorgeous. And then two final items. If you have got a problem with your neck, with sagging skin, with wrinkles, but actually more so if you are younger and you haven't got any problems with your neck, your neck and decolletage are one of like the quickest places that age. Um, and I use Squalane on my neck and I use it twice a day. And Squalane, you get the 100% plant derived one use it on your neck twice a day and it really prevents any sagging skin any aging any loose skin that you get under here it really really prevents it just by keeping the area hydrated because you don't actually have any oil glands on your neck so but i wanted to try this because i actually used this a while ago and this is the neck and decolletage serum so specifically designed for this area you push the top down you get a portion of the product which is all you need to to use it you apply the product very much like Squalane, the product does sit on your skin a little bit, but that's really how this works, you know, I, I would really say that. So this is really good as well. And then the final thing, which is kind of novelty, comes in this pot and it's a heart shape, little block of hand moisturiser. Let me try it. Oh, it smells nice, kind of like lavendery. And you rub it into your hand and it melts as you rub it in. Let's try it, see how good it is. Smells amazing. So that is the haul. Now, if you want to join me in um, the next bit of this video where we actually go out, keep watching and I'll see you in one second. Can you hear that pigeon? <laughs> we have just turned up at the Four Seasons Hotel in Hampshire. And we're here because we are having breakfast with uh, Porsche Centre Reading. And after we've had breakfast, we are going to go to um, Goodwood Festival of Speed, which is like a car show. So for any of you who are into that, you might enjoy it. To be honest, Festival of Speed is something that even if you're not so into cars, it is very car focused, I won't lie. But even if you're not super into cars, it's the kind of thing that you could come here and see with your partner. There's lots of retail stuff there as well. So it is really good. Um, honestly, I really think it's really good. I really think it's worth it. Just going up to get some breakfast. It's very nice in here. Pancakes, waffles. Oh, this looks nice. Scrambled eggs. Amazing. Really, really good stuff. Oh, you're going to get an omelette. Okay. That's not what I was insinuating. So that was it, we've just had breakfast and there's two more of us here that I met, two other customers, and we're gonna head off to Goodwood now. It's gonna take us around about an hour. This hotel is absolutely stunning. So just down there, that's where we had breakfast, that's a restaurant. And then this is like one of the corridors that goes down to the rooms. We've already decided we are staying here in August for sure. Like, look at this flower display of all kids. Wow. How amazing is that? This is the view outside the hotel. And this is the hotel. Oh, wow, it's just stunning here. And I'm going there in my car today. Porsche have sorted me out with supercar parking, which means that I can park really close to the event. Um, and also in supercar parking, it's designed so that people can walk around that section of the paddock and look at the cars. And um, because I'm lucky enough to have this car, this classes is something that is allowed in supercar parking, because some cars aren't allowed in, <laughs> if it's not super enough. Uh, so anyway, we better head off. Hey, oh, it's so windy here. It's actually really annoying. So we've just checked in and I have my Porsche lanyard, which I think gets me into a few different things that are going on today with Porsche. But we're going to go for a walk around 
I'm going to show you everything that I think is particularly interesting, which I hope you also find interesting. And um, I'm going to pay particular interest to some of the retail space because I bought a really nice leather jacket here um, year before last. And there's some, it's pretty good if, you, if you're into shopping, which I know most of you are, which is why you watch. So there's something here for everyone, but let's, let's go and um, I'll show you what I find. Look at this, so this is the Le Mans Cafe with Porsche and all of the tables have been set up really nicely. And you can stand up there on the grandstand and overlook what's going on on the main track. We've just come through to the Porsche Cafe and I've ordered like a coffee and some water and we might actually have a look at the menu and see what's on it. I'm not eating because I'm like so full, but I'll show you what's on it anyway. Here is the menu and this is what I'm talking about. If you come to Festival of Speed, Hospitality can be very good. This is what we have on the breakfast menu. So David, I do not know how he has done it, but he has ordered another breakfast. <laughs> I ordered, and I don't even, I can't manage it, but I'm gonna try and manage it. I ordered um, a muesli pot so that David wasn't alone uh, in his consuming. We've just arrived at the Cartier area and um, I'll spin you round. So this area is basically where there are a selection of classic cars, supercars. And this is a Lamborghini Diablo GT. We've just made it to the Porsche stand and look at this. This is like my ideal car to go with the GT3. This is like Barbie's car. This is a Boxster and it's actually a limited edition, um, style edition. How much is it? Out of interest, is there a price? 73833. I actually think that's an okay price. I love this car. Let me stand back and show you. Got some more key rings here this is a lovely color this is if you want the gt3 at the moment this is a pts color so it's like a special color that you can't really get very easily i'm looking for a baseball hat got some clothing items but they don't have a baseball hat oh they've got one here i'm not really feeling that though do i like that mm, it's not really very me got some clothing items oh my gosh look at this this is new out this is a spider rs wow 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 check out this color as well i think this is a new color and i love it it's like a pearlescent amethyst sorry about the noise by the way i'm trying it's very, it is popping on this stand, it really is. Oh, look at that interior as well. I purchased two hats. Sophie purchased two hats. And She's very proud of these hats. I'm very pleased with these. I chose one which is quite geeky. A GT3 Shop hat. Blue. Shark blue GT3 hat. To match my car. What's on the inside? Oh, oh that's your car. It's my car. Without the stripe. Without the stripe. And then the other one I got. This 
This other one is a bit more chic, a bit more classic. The suspense is killing me. Yeah, it's nice. Black hat. You've got one like that already. I don't. Put it on. No. I will put it on. <laughs> Which you could put the blue one on. Which one should I wear? Wear the black this one. one goes. Yeah, okay. Wear that one. Then. Oh, I can't. There's a label on it. Okay. Don't worry then. Has the blue one got a label on? Yeah. It? Does it look too big? Because it no. Is. I need to adjust I'll, it. I'll adjust it. Okay. Can I this turn this it. off now? This is my hat. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now I found where they sell the um, leather jackets that I told you that I got last year and I'm going to show you some of them. They're right in front of me but it's quite busy around here so hopefully you'll be able to see without me getting loads of people in. Okay so this might not be to everyone's taste. I actually bought this one last year um, but you can get plain leather jackets here but there's also this pale pink one um, and all of them are designed to look like they've been worn uh, quite a bit but I love this style. I actually wear mine to the gym a lot. Um, just over my gym stuff here we've got some more and i'm going to go through and show you the plain ones like here is a plain one but they also come in other like so many different colors like this one down here i'm going to try some on and show you because honestly you'll be surprised how they look on they also do them for men and they only sell at shows and like if you look at the prices 169.99 they're not, like for a leather jacket, they're not extortionate. I don't think, anyway, I think they're quite well priced. Yeah, it's nice, it, it fits quite well. It's nice. You could get away with the medium as well. I think it's a bit small. Yeah. Yeah, it's a tad small. Yeah, it's a bit small. But it gives you an idea, if you like a leather jacket, but you don't like all of this design on it, you can get plain, plainer versions here. And also for men, some of the men's options. This is better. Yeah, that's better. Fits over the hoodie better. This is the other size. This one fits better. Definitely fits better. Yeah, it definitely fits mm -hmm. better. I like this. That's perfect. Yeah, I like this. Your mirror makes me look fat. I hope I'm not. I hope I'm not. <laughs> no, you're not, honestly. No, that, he's, he's got the same. <laughs> keep doing that. I keep pressing record, only it hasn't recorded. This is the menu for lunch. So, what I've decided to have for lunch is I've got the smoked salmon to start. Then I'm going to get the potato gnocchi for main. I doubt I will get the dessert, but if I did, I would probably go for an apple strudel. And then on, there's a children's menu here. And then on the other side, these are all of the drinks down here. There's even champagne. There's everything you could want. So my food has just arrived and this is the salmon and it smells amazing and it looks so fresh. Doesn't that look so good? cafe for the third and final time today because we've been out for another walk around and I've shown you some of the other areas that there are to see and do here and one of the things we've come back for is there is like a final afternoon tea and they are here so, uh, and I can't remember what these are you know let me have a look so here's the menu um, I got one sandwich which has got smoked salmon in it and then the cakes are peach melba lemon drizzle Salted caramel choux and strawberry tart. I think I've pretty much got all of those. So that is it. It's just gone seven o'clock and we have just this minute walked through the door. The traffic getting back was bad, but it was so worth it. And I really want to thank Porsche Centre Reading for inviting us both to this because we had the best time it was such such a good day um and spending the day with them has just been so much fun so massive thank you if you have watched this and you've enjoyed it and you want some more 
I'm going to link to a couple more videos here and here. Have a click and come and join me in another one.